made music. I made music. I dropped the 110 songs last year. I actually just finished making a song. There will be a new pack coming out next week, Friday. But if you want to hear all the music I dropped last year, I'll drop a link to an album that I dropped last year. One of many. I'll drop a link in the description, in the description, in the description. But appreciate if you check it out and let me know what you think. I appreciate if you check it out. I also dropped a short. I dropped a short. Uh, uh, with uh, a short of a of a clip of a song that's coming out next week. So go to my shorts tab. Go to my shorts tab to, to check it out the latest one. The latest short and you get a glimpse. I'm just gonna use my shorts tab to, to promote my music honestly. I'm just gonna post clips on there every day. Just promoting whatever music is coming out. I don't really upload ASMR shorts that often anyway, so then I just repurposed my shorts tab for that. Promote music. Yeah, then I don't have to perform music every Friday. I think I'll stop performing music because I used to perform when I was doing the song at each end. I'll perform music every Friday. Instead, I'll just use the shorts tab for you to get all these clips of my music. That I don't have to perform music every Friday. So check out my shorts tab. Check out my shorts tab. Speaking to some people is actually interesting, so I watched the video where this guy and his wife were debating like whether when you're when you're dating in, you know, in the dating phase and you know, when you're seeing people to like like the initial initial stages, should you be allowed to see multiple people people at once? Like, you know. So maybe you meet someone for the first time at like a friend's house for example like those that get together you meet someone there for the first time and then he's like yo let's go like if you're a girl he's like let's go grab coffee sometime and then okay you go and see him and then are you allowed to then go on another date with another guy at another time maybe later during the week or whatever I don't know or should you just see things through with that guy and see if it's going anywhere before you start looking look, uh, hanging out with other dudes and vice versa same thing applies with men as well my stance is and the stance of the guy in the video is you should only see one person at a time a girl or guys you should only see one person at a time people I think it's normal in a lot of cultures these days these days 
just kind of date around and grab coffee with this person, grab coffee with that person, hang out with this person, da 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 da. I don't like it. I don't like it because. Imagine, dude, you and me are hanging out, you're like a year girl. You're a baby, I'm interested in you, we're having a conversation, we're having fun, being intimate. Like there's a vibe, there's a, there's a spark. And it's like, this is good, this feels good. Let's do another date and you agree. And then later that week you go and see another guy. What? I actually remember picking up this girl. We were hanging out. We supposed to, it wasn't, I don't know if that specific day was a date or just going to like another get together together. I can't remember what was happening that day, but we had gone on a date before. So there was that thing of like, we're, 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 we're seeing where this is going to go. So I was picking her up, and I picked her up from this restaurant where she was seeing another guy. Obviously, this is like initial stages. We're not a couple or anything like that, but still, it, it rubbed me the wrong way. And in my mind, I was like, yeah, no, no, no. this won't work. In my mind, that immediately disqualified her because I'm just like... There was something about, nah, like she hugged the guy, and then me and the guy, I was in my car, he saw me through the window, we made eye contact, and there was that thing, like, there was this, like, like we, we, I don't know, on my end, I didn't fuck with him, like maybe in his mind, he was thinking the same thing, like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, that's what it was, it's like, who the fuck? That's how we were looking at each other, like, what the, well, who are you? Who are you? That's when I knew that this girl is not going to work. How can you get me to pick you up from a restaurant when you're seeing another dude? That's when I knew like this thing of when I'm seeing a girl, it doesn't matter if it's the first date. It doesn't matter how early it is. You see, you're seeing me. You can't do this thing of like, you're seeing multiple guys at once. I'm seeing multiple girls at once. No, 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 no. Just focus and commit to this and see where this goes. Because then we don't have to play the game of comparison and... Because, yeah, that's what you're doing, really. You're comparing people to each other instead of assessing someone on their own merits. And saying, how do I feel about this person, really? Instead of, like, how does so-and-so stack up to such-and-such? I don't want to be compared to some other guy. You. So... I'm not a fan of... That I'm not some fish in the market, and you compare me to some other fish in the next row. I don't like the concept of that, and I don't want to treat you like that either. If you're a lady, so let's not do that. You know, back in the day, there was a concept of this concept of courtship. How that would work is. girl you're interested in you go to her father and you ask her father for permission to court her and what that and what courting means and you begin the process to to see if you are a suitable marriage partner for her you're courting her and then she decides whether she likes you or not if she decides she likes you you get married <laughs> it's, it's that simple these days we be date we play all these stupid games Sleep around, wreck her body count, yada yada, and the things you break up, you crying, tears, all this nonsense because people aren't focused. There's no real intention behind this, a lot of this stuff. It's just vibes, you just. There's no direction, there's no purpose, there's no sense of urgency. It's just like uh, feeling things out and, you know, look at the current dating culture now and ask yourself if it's something to marvel at or if it's a goddamn mess. I think anyone who's been in the dating market and has seen how things go knows that it's not nice. You have to be out of your mind to say that things are nice, that things are going well. It's not. Dating these days is trash, absolute dog shit. Divorce rates are sky high and uh, people break up like every Tuesday, the things don't... 
divorce is so common these is the people divorce is so common these days that people literally have divorce parties they celebrate their divorces what a what a shit culture my god so you know for me obviously you know you, you adjust a little bit for the modern context for the times you're in but for me i like the approach of there's a girl let's say i don't know i meet some girl somewhere i don't know i meet her and then I, I decide oh she's very interesting i'd like to get to know her more take her out to dinner movies whatever whatever what i'm gonna do i think this is a good thing can i speak to your father and ask for permission if you don't have a father and your mom whoever is taking responsibility for you can i speak to that individual so they know who i am so they know that okay she is out with this person because these are individuals that i might potentially be family within the future if we get married right and that's another thing uh, pursuing marriage so getting to know someone with the intention of getting married so you're not getting in with this mentality of we'll see where it goes vibes anything is anything like no like i know i want to get married like that's my goal so that means i move very differently when it comes to how i approach women um i'm not looking for sex i'm not looking for a fun time i'm not looking for anything i'm looking for a marriage part i'm looking for a bro that I can be like this is someone i want to share my life with and we're going to be close and we we share a lot of things in common we can have conversations the stuff like that so once you have that mentality it changes your entire approach and, th- and things move a lot quicker too because you isolate the qualities you you want you ask more you ask important questions more often you're less tolerant of nonsense so that's why a lot of people well when they've made the mistakes and they've done the silly games and blah, 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 and they're approaching their 30s maybe they're past their 30s you you hear stories of oh we met and in two weeks i knew he was the one or she was the one we got married immediately and people are like, what no 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 that's too quick it's not too quick that person knows what they want and they isolate these quite they, they're able to identify these qualities very quickly because they're not playing games anymore when you're playing games and you're being foolish that's how you end up in these 10 year relationships that are going nowhere and you're like when is he going to propose to me yada 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 that's how you end up in situations like that whereas on the first date you can ask like listen what more do you believe in marriage um that that's an intimidating question to someone who isn't trying to get married those are the only types of people that might find that question a bit weird if a girl asks me that question is like is marriage in your plans do you want to get married that's like for me that's a green flag it means she's thinking the same way it doesn't mean i'm going to marry her it just means okay we're on the same page about marriage she's dating with the intention of getting married she wants to be in a situation that leads to marriage that's a green flag doesn't mean i'm going to be the one marrying her but at least i know what she's looking for these are first date questions it's, i don't care what anyone says it's too early yada, yada. it's only people that are fooling around that are intimidated by questions like that it's like why would you why would that scare you oh it's too soon it's like no you have a mission right you have a direction you're headed towards you need to know the important details let's get that shit out of the way marriage obviously you don't throw it all on onto the person all at once um it's, it should be natural it should flow naturally the conversation should flow naturally but i don't think there's a time frame i don't think there's a oh you should ask this on date five or no it's like these are things you can ask right away it just depends on how you ask them you have to obviously be mindful of how you're asking these and how you're coming off you have to be aware of that you shouldn't uh, be too intense but 
these things flow. I've been, I've had these conversations with girls before, and it was very natural, and it never felt weird or anything like that. It's just about how you ask it. It's, it just has to be natural. When you're, when you're having, it's not rocket science, people. We have a good conversation. These things will just naturally come up. You'll be talking, talking, talking. The, the, the topic of sex will come up. What do you like? What do you don't? Well, yeah, it, it comes up. I've had these conversations. <laughs> um, girls are different than guys, obviously. As a guy, I don't mind questions like that, but... Obviously, when it comes to the topic of sex specifically, you, you don't want to be sensitive. You don't want to jump the gun because then you, you'll seem like, as a man, you you will seem like maybe you're, you're being too pushy in that realm. So I wouldn't be sensitive there. Get her to warm up to you a little bit. And then maybe you take that approach later on. But it, again, there's no time frame for these things. It's, if each person's different, some girls are open as man. I'll tell you what. I know a girl that I was close with, and she approached me like, "Do you want to have sex?" She was the first one to ask that question, and it was very quick. And she wanted like some casual thing, so eventually. I was like, nah, this is not gonna work because she, like, she was looking for more like casual sex. Um, and my mind has evolved since then. Like, uh, now I'm on the tip of like no sex before marriage, which is aligns with my faith in God and what He wants for me, as well as just practically. Uh, there's several reasons not to have sex before marriage, but. Yeah, she wanted a casual sex, so I was like, no. Um, but yeah, like, that's an example of a girl who is very open. And for her, maybe it's not a big deal when you talk about these things. It, maybe she's also a bit older than me. She's like five years older than me, so maybe it's an age thing. She's just not just doesn't care so much. But when it comes to specifically marriage, children, stuff like that, I think, in my experience, a lot of girls are open to conversations like that. It just depends on how you approach the conversation, of course. And when it comes up naturally, it doesn't seem like you're pushing some sort of agenda or anything. And just you're genuinely interested in these things, and you're showing that you know you have a vision, you have a purpose, and you're actually trying to, in your in your mind, in your future, you have commitments in mind. I think girls appreciate that. So for me, yeah, honestly, in the first date, you can cover so many different topics, man, that people might say, you need to save that for several months down the line. You can talk about almost everything, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's about the individual and also your, your, your level of maturity and... Uh, What you want? What are your goals? If you've got a clear outline of goals, you can okay. I'm trying to achieve this and this and this and this within my union, within my relationship. Um, things go by very quickly. That's how you hear in like in two months they got married. These stories like that in two months they were married. Because they went out, they spoke, they had multiple conversations. And also it's like guys. Um I'm not saying everyone get married in two months. That's not what I'm saying. Everyone's different. 
here's what I'll say. You don't need more than a year, honestly. This thing of someone, you hear stories of we've been, we've been dating for 10 years. What the fuck, dude? Five years even. Five years is way too much. Three years. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Within a year, you can know all you need to know about a person. And then all these extra details, they'll come out. But the fundamental things about who they are as a person, what their goals are, you can find that out very quickly. I can learn a lot about an individual in one conversation if I'm asking the right questions. I think a lot of people don't know how to have meaningful dialogue because we live in a culture where small talk is the norm. People just ask inconsequential questions all the time about things that don't matter. I get to the nitty gritty, man, very quickly. And in my experience, people are receptive to that. If you ask the questions in the right way and you know what questions to ask, you can, people open up. And in one conversation, you can know so much. So, if, if, if there's a girl you like, let's say you go out several times a week, if you're fortunate enough where your schedules align like that and you want to see each other that often. I've heard stories like that where two people met and they just hit it off and they happened to live near each other and they could see each other frequently, so they did. And then within a few months, they were like, yeah, we're getting married. Because they, they had the time to figure things out. So it's like all that time was condensed because they would see each other several times a week for several hours each time they met. So you, you meet on a Wednesday evening and you have a three-hour date, for example, and you're just talking. Oh my God. Do you know how much you can learn from about an individual? So then you're talking, you realize, oh, we're intellectually matched. So we can have long-form intellectual discussions and we actually make progress and we learn from each other and it's engaging and mentally stimulating and all this. So, so now you know, okay, she ticks the, the, the intellectual box in terms of what I like to talk about and yada, yada, yada. And then next conversation, you learn about maybe her sense of humor and you're like, oh, she's got an interesting sense of humor. I actually like it. And we compliment each other in this way and that way. Maybe I'm not that humorous, so I'd like to be with someone who's humorous to counterbalance me or whatever the case may be. And you keep learning these things. Like, I'm telling you, man, modern dating is trash because it's all about vibes. Like, there's nothing serious about it and it's all about feeling things out and going with the flow and that's why things always end badly because you never had direction in the first place you were just kind of like being blown by the wind going where the wind takes you and then it takes you into a ditch so plot a course plot a course and then prepare for the journey and then go and you're way more likely to get there. If I'm like... If, if I decide, okay, I want to go on a journey. And then I, 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 I don't pack my bags or whatever. I just go. And I'll, I'll, I'll end up where I end up. You're not going to get anywhere. More than likely, you're going to get into a bunch of trouble. And you, you're, you're gonna run out of food, and things that you're gonna experience a lot of hardship. Let's put it that way. If you pack your bags, you pack all the utilities you need, all the food and water you need, and you have a little map, and you're like, okay, I'm going here. You chart your course, and then you get going. You're way more likely to get there than if you just woke up out of, and got out of bed and say, and stepped out of the house and said, where well, I'm, I'm gonna end up where I end up. It doesn't matter. That's not how things work. You have to be practical. So that's my encouragement to people. Have be focused. Have a plan. And when you have a plan, things go a lot more smoothly and a lot more quickly. 
you'd be amazed the amount of progress you can make in a short space of time when you have a plan. You won't find yourself in these 10 year relationships that aren't going anywhere. You know what you think. You know what you think. Um, you know I like to pay the end of my videos. So. Dear God, thank you for this individual watching this right now. Thank you for making them whole and unique and guiding them on a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose, purpose, purpose. Thank you for blessing this individual with wonderful people who love them and take care of them and bring the best out of them. And thank you for maintaining the people that are already there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person's love life so that you know they meet someone or they 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 love or or you. Bless the relationship they currently have. Um, bless this person with the spirit of gratitude so that they can give thanks for all that they have, be aware of all that they have, all the good things, and through giving thanks can find peace and contentment and attract even more blessings. And I pray that your presence is felt in this individual's life, that they know that you're God, that you're real, that you love them, and that you're taking care of them. And uh, yeah, good health, long life, happiness of this individual and everyone they care about. Amen, I pray. Jesus, name I pray. Amen.